Hello everyone, Silverstruck here. Welcome to the Silverstruck channel and the second video of my stacking distraction. And that distraction, of course, is this wonderful Whitman Silver Ingot Collection album that I picked up. And I'm putting my one ounce bars in this album instead of using my guardhouse boxes and completing that latest challenge. Uh, this book holds almost the same amount as a 25 count guardhouse box. There are three pages that hold eight bars on each page, so that equals 24 bars. So one short from a 25 count guardhouse. So a little bit of a uh, distraction. I could probably complete my latest guardhouse if I wasn't working on this, but yet, hey, still, uh, still finding some really nice bars. So the first page is complete, and we'll take a close look at that. Some of you uh, that caught the last video would have already seen these bars, so I'm just not going to spend a lot of time on them, just briefly share them. So pretty neat, very, very happy with these bars. And uh, today I had a very fortunate trip to the local coin shop where I was able to pick up eight more bars, mostly vintage, all of them pretty awesome, a couple of them rare, and one of them even inappropriate. Uh, so, uh, well, it could be inappropriate or controversial, so I'd love to hear your opinions on, on that bar in the comment section, but I'm going to uh, save that one for last. So, let's get right into it, and I'll share with you my next eight bars. Here we are on page two, and we're going, going to be adding the bars from the bottom up this time around. Uh, because I have a mini collection, uh, the first four bars we'll be adding are all from U.S. Silver Corp. So I wanted them to match the, uh, the the four Inglehards I had on page one. So these are all U.S. Silver Corp bars. And the first one we're going to start with is a very popular bar and uh, highly sought after by collectors. And sells at a pretty good premium. Uh, so that would be this Joan of Arc bar. Forward with God, Joan of Arc, dated 1974. Beautiful bar. This one's one to keep an eye out for. All the reverses will be the same. United States Silver Corporation, one troy ounce, three nines fine silver. So we're going to put the Joan of Arc bar right there. It looks good sitting right there. I love the contrast of the silver and the blue. Next bar up, of course, another U.S. Silver Corp bar. This one's pretty interesting. Wishing you good fortune, also dated 1974, but it has a very nice landscape to it. You can see some people in the center of the bar, and you have a pot of gold with a rainbow. So a pretty cool bar. Again, all the reverses will be United States, United States Silver Corporation reverses. So we're adding that bar in, so the second bar is added. This next one is another one that's highly collected, and there's some variations of it out there. This is the Secretariat Bar, Triple Crown winner, June 1973. So another dated bar. This one is in okay shape. Some of these are a little bit beat up because they're found in bins. So we're going to add this bar in here. This is one that's uh, collected quite a bit, and like I was saying, a couple different variations. And the last bar we're going to add is one I was really psyched to find. Um, I'm here in New Hampshire, and of course we're very close to Boston, so I'm down in Boston from time to time. And here we have the 200th, 200th anniversary of the Boston Tea Party. Have some dates on there. Of course the ship, you can see Boston in the background. The tea going over the side. So really, really cool bar for those of us that like history. And of course I like that it's uh, kind of a hometown bar. Boston's only about 45 minutes from here, so a uh, really neat uh, bar to get. And again, um, I really do enjoy finding bars from some of these different um, refiners. Uh, U.S. Silver Corp being one. I love Madison Mint, the old Silver Towns. Uh, so there are some refiners that I really look for. Obviously the big ones like JM and, and Englehard. So always, uh, always nice to be able to uh, add a group of bars from the same refiner when possible. So let's get to the top four bars and I'll show you what we have. The first bar I'm going to share with you I think is part of a series. I haven't really been able to do much research on it but I purchased this bar for two different reasons. One is the awesome color that it has. 
It's really appealing, has some nice patina on it. And it has a lot number or serial number to the bottom. And whenever I see that, that's hard for me to resist. So just love those uh, lot and serial numbers. This is the uh, Centennial Chattanooga Choo Choo Train. So pretty cool. And on the reverse, you can pause and read. Pretty neat bar, so happy to have that one in the album. Second bar is the biggest little city in the world, Reno. One troy ounce, three nines fine silver, of course. And this one is from a major refiner, Silvertown. As I was saying, this is one of the refiners that I look for. It's a highly recognizable name, so um, I like to try to collect the more popular refiners uh, when I can find them out there. There's all sorts of one-ounce bars that were made back in the 1970s, so there's a lot of different variations you can find. This one's kind of an offshoot bar, very interesting. And thanks to this album, I can actually pick it up, because normally I would leave this size bar alone, because it won't go into a capsule. So what we have here is a Jackson... Uh, precious metals bar one ounce three nines fine and they have the periodic table or part of it anyway on the uh, front of the bar you can see ag au uh, pt so they have palladium uh, on there platinum gold silver so uh, rhodium so pretty pretty neat bar and uh, this side is pretty plain so we're going to put this in uh, fancy side up if you will and the longer bar fits right into the album so that's always nice and that brings us to the last and final bar, and uh, it's this one right here. So I don't think this is really a vintage bar. Uh, it's too new, but here we have the Iraqi Mobile Missile Launcher. And I think this bar pretty much speaks for itself here. So I'll let the, uh, the comments fly in the comment section. And if we look over here, the, the other side is an international trade unit. So interesting uh, you can see the outline of the flip there this was in a flip and it's in a pretty mint condition has some little toning here and there but uh, what do you guys think pretty interesting bar so <laughs> this one gets added in i just i couldn't leave that one in the coin shop i had to have that so uh, in the album it goes and there we have uh, the second eight bars and uh, if i have if this luck continues picking up vintage bars or really cool bars in general. I'll have that third page done uh, this upcoming week and we'll put this little distraction behind us and fill this album up. So uh, pretty excited uh, to do that. So let's check out the, uh, the eight bars added. Very nice. And we'll check out the reverses and you can see why I did it this way. Page two reverses. There's the reverses on the top, and we have a group of four matching reverses on the bottom. So that's kind of what I was going for, all United States Silver Corporation reverses. So uh, I don't know, sometimes I just, my OCD kicks in and I just have to stack a certain way. So uh, 16 bars total in here. So this, uh, this album's been great with kind of um, inspiring me to find more bars and add more weight to the stack, but also collectability. So, uh, really good progress and only one page left to go. Don't forget to leave me those comments in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching.